For those of you who are staying patient and holding out from buying the 2020 Corvette C8 and waiting for the C8 Z06 model, I have some great news for you. We are continuing to get more and more leaked footage of the car being tested, and today I have a brand new photo and video to share with you. I still remember that feeling when we got to see the first glimpses of the camouflaged C8 base car, but the C8 Z06 is shaping up to be a different breed. I say that because while GM has completely changed the layout of the Corvette by going mid-engine, we still have one big similarity to the previous generations, which is of course the motor. The C8 base will be a reworked LT engine, the LT2. It does have some changes to it, but at its heart it's very similar to what we've seen from the previous Corvettes. That, as we know, is going to completely change, and from the video and photos we are getting, that change is going to be quite spectacular. So let's go ahead and jump into checking out the new photo we have that was snapped of the C8 Z06. The new photo was uploaded by a forum user named Jim, so thank you Jim for providing some awesome new insight into the Z06. The first thing I noticed when checking out the prototype was the rear wing, or lack thereof. This is actually a pretty big deal as the Z06 Corvette have always come with some sort of wing or spoiler to help with downforce. The lack of spoiler could certainly be due to the fact that weight is now much less of a problem with the C8 lineup as the engine sits at the middle rear of the car. But even then, I would think that the car would have something to accommodate for some additional downforce. I mean, we have a true wing that can provide up to 500 pounds of downforce that you can put on your base C8, and that will certainly need less downforce than the Z06. My reasoning in mentioning this is that several forum members have commented on the fact that they believe this means we could see an active wing on the Z06. Active wings are seriously cool and provide the perfect dose of downforce when you need it and eliminating extra drag when you don't. Active wings are for the most part found only on high performance exotics, so there's that. But with the heavy covering over the C8 Z06, it's pretty hard to really see anything, and it would also mean that an active spoiler would need to be disabled as the cover would block the spoiler from opening and retracting. As we continue taking a look at the back of the car, I can tell that the car looks wider and more aggressive. I've spent countless hours looking at camo photos of the base C8 for the last few years as I've made these videos, and this looks completely different in my opinion. The cover can do a lot to change that appearance, but I would argue that the back of the C8 Z06 will continue with that trend of adding aggressiveness to its look over the base Corvette. Next, we can see on the side of the vehicle that there is in fact side skirts that are covered in camo. It'd be reasonable to believe that this car will come standard with some sort of side skirts, whether they're molded and color matched or they are likely carbon fiber. But with the amount of options GM has given us on specking out our base C8s, I wouldn't be shocked at all if you have the choice of what you prefer on your Corvette C8 Z06. The next thing I noticed on the C8 Z06 photo was something that we actually saw on the last leaked photo of the Z06, and that's the wider rear intake, and it's certainly prevalent in this photo, even with the covering over it. This is much more in line with what we've seen on the C8R. The wider body gives new body lines to the car in a way that the base just really can't match. But again, that just falls in line with what we would expect, and it allows the car to have those monstrously wide tires. The final and probably most puzzling thing you will notice from the photos is the covered wheels. If we zoom in, what you'll notice is that the wheels are completely covered in the black material. This is really strange because we've not actually seen this before as the base C8, even when fully camouflaged, never covered the wheels. So what exactly does this mean? Well honestly, I'm not completely sure, but we have some possibilities that we can review. The first reason why they might have covered the wheel is that the car is sporting brand new brakes, possibly even carbon ceramics, and they want to hide this from us. GM isn't stupid and they're well aware that our community is constantly on the hunt to pry any little bit of new information from the photos and videos we get, much like today. I saw on the forums where a few people had mentioned carbon fiber wheels being used as well, and this is a possibility, but I'd imagine they would most likely use some sort of paint to just coat over the carbon fiber instead of actually covering the full wheel up, which it does block airflow. But nevertheless, carbon fiber wheels could absolutely be the reasoning for this. The third reason I saw was to cover up an electric motor that would be attached to the wheels. 
Now, I personally am not a believer that the Z06 will carry the hybrid designation. I think that that's going to be saved for the ZR1 model or possibly some sort of Zora model that we've been hearing about, but I can't actually rule it out, and I have seen a handful of online people convinced that this is the case for the Z06. But what do you all think about the reasoning for covering the wheels is? I would say that from this photo that it's the biggest head scratcher that we get from it, and it certainly must mean something, and something that is quite fairly substantial. If you do have any other thoughts on the photo that we just looked at, make sure that you drop them in the comments below. I love hearing everyone's thoughts, and many of you have some great additional things that you can add. And again, I read through all of them, and I try to respond to as many as I can. A lot of the comments start really adding up, but again, I read so many of the comments, so thank you all so much for that. So let's go ahead and check out the video that has everyone so excited, the C8Z06 in action. Well, there you have it, and I have to say, honestly, it sounds incredible. So incredible that even with my C8 Corvette on order, I want to get a C8 Z06, so thanks a lot GM. But in all seriousness, this is a great thing for the Corvette brand, and from what I can tell, most people are very impressed with what they're seeing and hearing from the leaked photos and videos. So let's dive into the video and break it down a bit more. Obviously the video is short, but it still gives us a huge insight into what we can expect from the C8Z06. The car can be heard before it's even entering view, and as it makes the turn we can hear that devilish downshift and then a mild acceleration through the curve. And as I'm sure it is readily apparent to most people, it sounds unlike any typical Corvette exhaust note we've heard before. If you follow my channel and have watched my videos, you know by now that for a while we've been speculating at the Z06 receiving a brand new flat plane crank engine design, out with the old and in with the new. This speculation has been maintained as we know the C8R now has a flat plane crank design. This video, I would say, is the nail in the coffin and officially confirms it at this point. The new Z06 will have this new motor, but what are the specs actually going to be? Funny enough, it seems that we have two pretty split camps on what we'll get for the Z06 in terms of flat plane crank. Half of the Corvette followers seem to think it will receive a naturally aspirated 5.5 liter engine, while the other half think it will instead be a 4.4 liter twin turbo setup. I've listened to the video countless times now, and I have a hard time actually hearing any of the turbos. I will admit I'm not a master mechanic by any means, so I'm more than capable of being incorrect, but from what I've also read, it seems like many people feel the same way. The problem with this theory of a naturally aspirated flat plane crank design is that the lower displacement engines with turbos make a lot of sense over the non-turbo setup. Flat plane crank engines are known to have high amounts of vibration and movement, which in turn can cause issues. The higher the displacement, the more vibration you get. Now of course things can be done to combat this issue, as we can see in the Shelby Mustangs as they're 5.2 liters, but it is something to note. Also, a twin turbo setup at 4.4 liters would make some serious power, especially with upgrades and aftermarket tuning. But there is the age-old saying, there is no replacement for displacement, and a high-revving naturally aspirated flat plane crank sounds absolutely incredible to me. Speculation of power figures for the Z06 range from 600 all the way to 750 horsepower, with the torque being closer to the 600 pound-feet range. This car is sounding the part of a true exotic Corvette that we've all been so patiently waiting for. I'm certainly not knocking the base C8 as it's a car that I'm actually purchasing, but I'd be lying if I didn't admit that the Z06 has me more than intrigued. Thank you all so much for checking out my video today. I hope you enjoyed checking out the sounds of the new C8 Z06 that is being tested. I'm going to run a poll soon for all of my subscribers to see which one would they purchase, the lesser expensive C8 or the higher priced Z06. The base C8 is far from a slouch, and I would venture to guess it's a good deal and much less expensive than the Z06. But 
that Z06 sound. It's hard not to forget. If you did enjoy the video, please think about subscribing to my channel. I have huge plans coming up after I receive my Corvette C8 and will producing videos all about my ownership experience with the C8 Corvette and answering any of the questions my subscribers have. Also, if you found the video helpful, think about hitting that like button. It helps more than I can express. As always, you all take care and I'll see you next video.